You have said that emotions, as can be expressed in the arts, are critical for higher level cognitive reasoning. Can you explain that connection? Human beings very early on confronted with their pain, which could be f purely physical or already the pain of the loss of the other or the pain of suffering or seeing another suffer, could invent ways of consoling others. And I think that one of the very early functions of music must have been precisely that. For example, could be done not just for pain, but also for the positive uh, emotion states. For example, for seduction. You know, I, I think that uh, music must have started as both an instrument of consolation and an instrument of seduction. We're trying to use something you feel in something that you recognize is another, that the other feels, and use our, our intellect, use our creativity to find a solution for that. And I think that all of the history of culture is about this. The history of culture is about responding to feeling states with the development of all sorts of uh, amazing constructions that include governance with economics and politics, for example, moral systems and justice, the arts, um, beliefs, uh, which are extremely important to cope with uh, both problematic as well as potentially very good situations. So this is the story of humanity, but that story of humanity begins with uh, feeling, which really means begins with the portrayal of body states in your brain. It me that the world uh, has not prepared itself for the convergence of supercomputing.